Hello, so in this one, let's check the leaderboards of the first week of season five. And I can say that immediately that they are really similar to season four. Right now, I am in Europe server, but I'm at the same time gonna check Asia server too. And let's start with seasonal normal. And uh, most of these builds are Riven Slash plus Wings of Ignition, Frost Strikes, Poisoning of Arrow, Frost Strike, Poison of Pharaoh, Crescent Slashes, somebody is trying to do Quick Slash But basically the same as Season 4, nothing has changed There was a nerf to Vervan Slash that decreased its projectile count and right now it's only max 7 But I can say it right now, it's actually somewhat better than it was before Because this skill was bugging out at high projectile count plus high pierce count So right now it's still as good as it was before. On elemental side, we see more Wings of Ignition. I was trying Wings of Ignition. I really didn't like it on Hardcore, especially early. But if I can, I'm gonna try to make a build on Wings of Ignition, but a little bit later into the season. Yeah, I see some people doing Poison Claws, but same stuff. Some people doing Firestorm. But problem with Firestorm that you need a Transcendent Righteous Traitor either equipped on yourself or on Lacrima. On Europe Hardcore, we see much more Frost Strike builds. And that's because it scales really good early, but it's still the same. Still the same stuff. However, there are more Firestorm players. After that, everything is exactly as season normal. Korea season normal is kind of similar to Europe. There are not that many changes this season. Of course, it's the first week, but the only difference is that explosive slash, which is kind of interesting. But this build is really big one, and dude running, dude is running full uniques and insanely good uniques. And he's using Whirlwind for mapping. I mean, Whirlwind actually to some degree was buffed. And people in Korea really love to run Whirlwinds for mapping. After that, a little bit Ogre Arrows. I think Ogre Arrow with Wings of Ignition, it's kind of not a bad build. But you got to be careful with this one. As Wings of Ignition, I wouldn't say it has that much clear. That's one thing. But this dude actually went for the clear awakening. He went for Verity. So basically he's using Ogre Arrow just to deal a lot of damage. Ogre Arrow is single target and Wings of Ignition for mapping basically for the split count on the Verity awakening. After that, an elemental one, it's same stuff. Somebody always doing Wine Blade in here, but Wine Blade again requires uh, Lacrima. Oh, he's not even using it. Okay, my bad. I have no idea. Oh, he switched to Frost Strike. Okay, I see. Yeah. Cross Slash players with Domain of Strength. I mean, Domain of Strength comes from the Afros Whale, but I don't know if that thing is really strong. But Korea, yeah, it, it's much more diverse than just uh, Europe. Somebody is trying Frostball with Sabda Coexistence. It's not a bad one, but it requires. I think it's gonna need some time to actually crack down this build correctly. After that, it's similar stuff. I'm not even checking at someone because it's always gonna be Fanblade Sentry and Wrathful Rune Knight. These two things never change. And they are really strong. Korea Hardcore is kind of interesting. That's why I like Korea players. They are actually experimenting with a lot of new stuff. Looks like Buddy is doing Wings of Ignition plus Frost Ball. Frost Bomb, which is kind of interesting actually. But these, these builds require a lot of investment. They are definitely not done early. That's one thing. Ogre Arrow plus Wings of Ignition. Yeah, Poison Claws. Same stuff, same stuff. Somebody is trying Earth Blow. Earth Blow might be a steeper build this season. 
I think it's gonna start picking up in like the second part of the season when people have a lot of good uniques and good items. I think Air Blow is gonna be really something interesting. Early it's kinda hard to do. Early is kind of hard to do, but Earth Blow could be good. Not early, by the way, not early. On Elemental side, Frost Strike, Poison Oil, Pharaoh's, yeah. Basically, people are doing the builds that they already know that they work, and they work really good. And basically, I mean, this wraps up. Like, there is not, not much to do right now, not much to talk about. We're still gonna need to wait for a little bit for those niche builds to come up. And one of those is gonna be definitely Earth Blow. After that, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. But that's it for now. Some of those builds I have on my YouTube, you can check those. I'm gonna try to put as many in the description. But yeah, GG's and have a nice grinding. And some of the new builds, I'm gonna try to make them as soon as I have time. Bye bye.